All right, so today we're gonna be making a dark Stockton slash sack type beat. Something that you can see J Bo getting on, Sloby, Jock, Briss, Mac J. You feel me? But yeah, I done posted this loop and this beat on social media, and y'all been going crazy over it. So I wanted to hit a breakdown slash show y'all the cook up behind it. And you feel me? Let's just get into it, bruh. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna break down the loop and then I'm gonna show y'all a little cook up of the drums behind it, you feel me? So usually I put them in order. So did th does that mean I made the bass line first? It's been a minute since I, I opened up this project. But yeah, bruh, Electra X, I'm sure y'all already know the preset, but just in case you don't, the Anabase MF from Electra X. And we laid down this pattern right here. <laughs> Also, 90 BPM, by the way, 90 BPM for all the BPM warriors in the comments. 90 BPM, 90 BPM. All right, so the next thing that I did was take out a tubular bell. I really like using tubular bells because they create like impact on the loop and it just makes them hit harder overall. So if you feel like your loop is just kind of like missing something, try throwing a tubular bell on it, a deep piano, like a stab, a hit, or just some type of sound effect in the beginning. It can really just help with the impact and the overall feeling of your melody. And then after that, we got this preset and expand. What is it? The Kodo plus 05. And then we got this little roll thing right here. So if y'all ever wondered how to do that doom, 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 thing, like this is how you do it. And also a little thing that you could do to spice it up. So this is usually what you do to get this little sound right here. What you do is you go to this magnet right here, you want one six beat or you go on one third, either one work, and then you just place them. Boom, boom, boom. So only three fit into the bar. And then just to spice it up, what I did was I did another roll leading up to it and I faded in the velocity. So this is what it sounds like by itself. Now, technically, if you're trying to get this sound, you can put these notes anywhere. But in my personal opinion, to get that dark feel, you definitely want to stay to the notes that are adjacent to each other. So like, you see how like this one goes and then there's a space and then there's this one right here. You want to mess with the ones that are right next to each other, brother. That's how you really get that dark sound. You know what I mean? And then next I got the chain jail preset out of artillery V2. Shout out Ezza and Max Shooter. You feel me? This is like one of my favorite presets. And all I did was just take little triads like this and I put them not on the one because I wanted the arp to be more of like a counter melody so this is what it sounds like now after that we got keyscape right here we got the studio preset and we laid down this progression right here. As you can see, it's actually really, really simple because we can we can actually just get rid of this actually. All this is, is just a triad, you feel me? The triad is just three notes where you skip every other note in the scale. And then just to beef it up, I took the root note right here and I copy it down to octave and I do that one more time. Now with these ones, I'm definitely gonna lower the velocity just so like they're not that loud, you feel me? Like you really want these notes to shine right here and these ones right here are just to support these notes. You know what I mean? Just make them a little bit more beefier. They ain't really there to, you feel me, steal the show. And then just to create a little bit of variation, I copied the note over. I took this note right here and I put it down one. If you know, you know it's the Travis Scott formula thing and everything like that but as you can see it still works for West Coast stuff too with that being said this is what the chords sound like all right then right here we opened up Electra X again Again, this is for a little counter melody, Glitter's Decay BT in the key section. And all I did was just basically use the same notes that we were using in the chords. In the first two chords, we were using like C, we were using D sharp, and we were also using G right here. And we also used D, pause. And we also used D right here as well. So when I'm making like the little counter melody, I'm using those notes as like a little template, you feel me? Just kind of like how like an artist, could use like a little um, stencil. This is kind of like the stencil, you feel me? And 
And then lastly, I threw these vocals right here on the other end for a little B section. This is what they sound like. All right, and with that being said, this is what the full loop sounds like with everything playing together. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Now, real quick, before we do get into the drum cookup, I want to let y'all know that if you do like this loop, you can get it right now in the multiverse drum kit. Actually, I believe it's in the demo version as well. So even if you ain't got the cash to get the full kit, you can still enjoy this loop. So the multiverse drum kit got 30 royalty free loops. It comes with all the MIDI, all the FLPs. It comes with a whole bunch of drums, a whole bunch of MIDI, a whole bunch of dope stuff. And it's all royalty free, brother. So if you want to get it, first link in the description, I highly recommend it. And also in the drum cookup, we are going to be using the multiverse drum kit. So if you want your beast to slap like that, I highly recommend you get the multiverse drum kit. All right. Available on gatekeepsounds.com. Let's get it. Right? All we're saying where the drums at. So here they are. Let's get it. Drum, 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 drum. 